Well, hi there. So here is the as promised video about level 10 life. I'm going to keep it hopefully kind of short. Uh, but if you're not familiar with the level 10 life, it's something from Hal Elrod. I believe it's from his book, The Miracle Morning. I haven't actually read the book um, because I've heard that you can get a good summary and uh, not have to sit through some of the other stuff that he writes about. But I heard about level 10 life from Boho Berry. And so her reviews of the book and her uh, blog posts about level 10 life that I will link down below um, were really, really helpful for me. As I've kind of alluded to in other videos, it's been kind of a rough year for me just health-wise. And so I really wanted to be proactive and be very intentional about um, my recovery and just where I'm going from here. And the Level 10 Life just really hit me with that. Um, it's called the Level 10 Life because he divides all the areas of your life into 10 main um, areas. And the goal is to be able to rate every single area of your life as a 10. Uh, so you, the way that he has it in the book is as a circle, and there are concentric circles within for each number, and then each category is a wedge. But that takes entirely too much time. I have a compass, but I decided that a bar graph would be way easier, and several other people have converted to the bar graph as well. So let's go ahead and, uh, and to continue what I was saying, you rate um, where you are in each level on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, and the goal is to get each category up to a 10. So the way he divides life is family and friends, personal development, spirituality, finances, career, marriage, fun and recreation, giving, physical environment, and health and fitness. And that's pretty comprehensive. Um, that that kind of covers all of it, in my opinion. Uh, these were my levels for May. Obviously, there, there's a lot of room for improvement. As I said, it's been kind of a rough year, and so um, I really wanted to focus on growth in each of these areas. The way that I set my um, mine up, I did my ratings, and I'm undecided as to whether I'm going to keep it on here when I, I plan on checking in about quarterly to see where I stand with things. So I'm going to decide if I'm going to do it on the same graph or if I'm going to make another one. Um, but for each of the different categories, I have kind of my top two or three priorities. Um, and I got these priorities from my... 100 level 10 life goals. So for each of the categories, I then went through and came up with 10 concrete goals of how I'm going to achieve the level 10 in each of those categories. Some of these are things that I can start doing now, and actually a lot of these are things that I've started to do now. Some of them are more in the future sort of things, like one of the things for marriage is to go on a kid-free trip to Europe. But I don't want to do that until the youngest kid is at least in first or second grade so that I feel okay leaving them for a week or two. So that's going to be quite a few years off. Um, but it's things like one of my things for finances is to start saving for that. So a lot of them work together. They're not all necessarily things that will happen this year. It's not like a New Year's resolution. They're all just things that I'm working towards. And kind of keeping um, in the theme of the self-improvement, one of the other systems is the getting things done system that most people are probably familiar with by now. And so I'm viewing all of these goals as mini projects. Uh, so for some of them, I'm going to have other spreads. Other ones um, I'm going to have in my project notebook things that I'm working like Right now I'm working on uh, for personal development, uh, establishing uh, daily routines to keep me centered and goal-oriented. So right now I've been researching different methods and reading a lot of blog posts and listening to podcasts to try and figure out what routines are going to work best for me. And so each one of these is something that I can then break down further to really be proactive with it. I also in my spreads have put different quotes um, that are about goals and about just self-improvement. One of my favorite ones um, is right here, accepting oneself does not preclude an attempt to become better. That's Flannery O'Connor. And that's something I'm kind of trying to find balance with this, that this isn't about I'm so awful and I need to do all these things to be a better person, to be an okay person, to be acceptable. It's that I accept myself as I am, to quote, quote Brene Brown, you are enough, I am enough, but it doesn't preclude an attempt to become better. So the level 10 life has been kind of a vehicle for me to become better, to look at 
all the areas of my life, where I am now, where I want to be, and steps that I can take to do that. Again, check out the blog post below because there's a lot of great information. And I hope this was helpful just as a quick overview of the Level 10 life and how I'm using it in my own life. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time. Bye.